minutes. Well, a U.S. official says Army Staff Sergeant Robert Bales will be charged with 17 counts of murder in the massacre of Afghan villagers. The tri-state soldier gunned down nine Afghan children and eight adults as they slept in their homes in two southern villages. But is the headline the whole story? Did Staff Sergeant Bales act alone? Ben has what the Pentagon is not telling you in Reality Check. Staff Sergeant Robert Bales is a tri-state native. He grew up near Cincinnati and attended Norwood High School. The 38-year-old Bales, we just learned today, will be charged with 17 counts of murder, in addition to six counts of attempted murder and six counts of aggravated assault. Bales is being held in a prison at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. The U.S. military says it was Staff Sergeant Bales and Bales alone who gunned down those 17 Afghan villagers in two separate villages by going door to door. Many of those victims, women and children. Bell says he does not remember what happened that night. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton says the massacre does not represent the United States. We deeply regretted the unfortunate uh, incidents regarding uh, the Quran uh, and the recent uh, killings of innocent Afghan men, women and children. But is the Pentagon and the U.S. media giving us the full story, or is Bales being used as a fall guy of sorts? An Afghani parliamentary probe team has concluded an investigation and says up to 20 American soldiers were involved in what happened. It's based on interviews with witnesses. They say it does not add up to one lone soldier. The team spent two days in the province where this all happened. They interviewed the families, tribal leaders, survivors, and they collected evidence. And what they say they found indicates that that attack lasted for one hour, and it involved two separate groups of American soldiers. The two villages where these massacres happen, they are one and a half kilometers apart. That's just under one mile. The report from the Afghani officials closely mirrors, though, early news reports from the area. Reuters was originally told by witnesses that a group of U.S. soldiers arrived at the village and were responsible for the killings. One resident, Haji Samad, said this, They, the Americans, poured chemicals over their dead bodies and burned them. I saw that all 11 of my relatives were killed, including my children and grandchildren. And other witnesses told Reuters reporters that the, quote, soldiers were all drunk and shooting all over the place. Other witnesses claim that there were pistol and gunfire shots from multiple directions. And one Afghan lawmaker, Abdul Ramin Ayabi, claims it is not possible for only one American soldier to come out of his base, kill a number of people far away, burn the bodies, go to another house, kill civilians there, then walk two kilometers and enter another house, kill civilians and burn them, and do it all in just one hour. But the Pentagon says that's exactly what happened. The official statement from U.S. officials, based on the preliminary information that we have, this account is flatly wrong, they say. We believe one U.S. service member acted alone, not a group of U.S. soldiers. But no evidence has been produced to back up that statement. So here's what you need to know. Did Staff Sergeant Robert Bales act alone? I really don't know. But the situation deserves a more critical look. And for media and the American public not to just take some spokesman's word for it. The Afghanistan war is increasingly unpopular. The recent Quran burnings, the attacks against U.S. forces in retaliation, and then this massacre of 17 women and children, among others. At the end of the day, what happened to those families? Well, it deserves to come to light, regardless of how unattractive the outcome might be. The families deserve it as does the family of Sergeant Bells. And that is Reality Check.